it's wet. It's raining, obviously, because it's wet. It's cold, right, for June. But you join me today fishing my local park lake. It's about half seven in the evening now. Just literally got a rod, a net, and I'll hook a mat for fish safety, and a few boilies. I'm gonna try and make something happen. I must admit, honestly, <laughs> I was down here Tuesday fishing part of the lake that I hope to get on tonight. And I had the ghosty that I've always wanted to catch, I hooked it up once, and the very light tackle had on for ages. Dived into, dived into weed and that was it. But I'm hopeful. I've got a sauce boilies. They're absolutely hoovering them up. Another confession. I did do a video on it and I was gonna post it because I blanked, but everyone does. I was editing it, deleted too much. And uh, yeah, that video has disappeared. But I'm back again and I'll keep coming back. I'll do a whole series on this to uh, show you. So let's hope that ghosty is still around. I was fishing two foot of water because the main bowl of the lake, as I'll show you soon, the main bowl is very pressured, which means the carp move up around this island and uh, you know, they're really pushed up there. Tails out of the water, boshing. I hope to catch that all for you in just a little while. Half an hour walk. Tell me, I wanna know people because I'm wondering if it's just me being crazy. Would you walk half an hour with light gear? Would you walk in the rain? when everyone else is probably at home, yeah, having a cushy meal. Me, no, it's all about more fish. Exactly, the channel, more fish mission. And I hope tonight, I'm gonna fish a few hours into darkness. Hope to show you a banger, hopefully the ghosty banger. That's gonna be my mission over the next few sessions to get that fish out. But in all honesty, if I'm rewarded with just a bite, I'll be happy. So I'm going to stop this jolter and screen because you're probably very annoyed and I'll catch you at the lake. Okay guys, so I walked around to the shallow part first of all, had a quick look as you do, just popped the stuff down and had a look and couldn't see any sign of fish. Now, as I approached that first, I thought, well, perhaps there's not a lot of pressure on the main bowl. This is the main bowl of the lake, so that obviously that end. And when I come the other day, most of these swims were taken. So... You know, I'm now trying to look, what I'm trying to look for is some fizzing. Carp love it in the in the rain and they usually show themselves in way of fizzing. They don't bosh in this boat as much, I must admit. So I'm a little bit confused about where to go at the moment. Might just leave it half an hour. This tree here has only got one rod. That looks quite good. You know, pop a bait perhaps, oh, just there. I'm just going to check out see if there's any fingers in. I have caught fish, let's have a look, just here. So towards that tree. And I have had one down here, but it's all changed. You know, I used to fish this years ago, haven't been here, well, other than the other day for quite a number of years. It looks very different to me now. You know, lakes still evolve, don't they? This isn't a huge lake. Um, had a 50 odd carp in here, well was. Unfortunately, it's not pleased very well. I, I think probably a bit of poaching's going on. Do you know what I mean? Unfortunately, a 30 come out here recently. There was always a couple of 30s. It's tricky. I've got one rod. I think in the channel around the island, it's easier to trick fish. But obviously, because the main bowl's open. Hmm. And because I am traveling light, I haven't bought a spawn or a rocket or even a catapult because it's been so rammed down here lately. I thought that, uh, you know, I thought perhaps there was going to be some people. What I might do is walk over there. So I'll walk around. There's a nice spot there by that tree. That's going to hold some fish. And I hooked the ghosty that I told you about just there before. So that tree line might actually be my better bet if... if I'll have a little look. I've put videos on my YouTube with fish swimming around here. Um, check out that short. Um, but yeah, I'm going to have a little stroll around. I don't want to be wasting too much time looking and walking around because this is a very short session. But if I can find a feature that I feel quite confident in, 
that to me over there looks good. I know fish do push along there. Um, I think that might be my best bet. So yeah, I'll go and walk around and come back to you. Okay guys, well I walked around the shallows and couldn't see anything there. I walked around the whole lake in the end, trying to decide where really to try for the next few hours. I actually like it when the lake's packed because nine times out of ten they're up in the shallows. Easy pickings. You can have a fish from over your bait at some point. With being out in the main bowl, although granted it's not a very big lake, you don't quite know where they're holding up, especially when they're not showing signs of fizzing or they rarely top in the main bowl of the lake either. To give you any indication, at night you'll hear some boshing, but during the day they're very cautious. So I tell you what, I've, get soaked. I tell you what I've decided to do if I turn this round here. So you can see these reeds just here. I've seen fish in the summer months years ago kite all the way down into a point just where you see that bubbling is. And you know what? There's some fizzing going on, on over my bait now. And I've placed it just there. But well, that's a good sign. Fingers crossed, ladies and gents. So my logic is any fish going around the island in the shallows will kite right across there. They tend not to come down here from old. I can't speak from now, but when I used to fish it, they tend not to come right into this corner. A chap has had them off the edge of this, this platform, but that weren't there in the past. So that's quite new. So yeah, some fizzing going on there. I don't know if it's carp though. There used to be some very good bream in here. There's a couple of catfish in here as well. No, my luck for more fish mission. Probably hook that. My rod's the 3.5, so I wouldn't be too scared if uh, if I was to hook up the 15 pound line and a 50 pound shock leader. But yeah, I think sometimes you can look around for fish, and because it's only a couple of hours session, I was debating the shallows. I did give it a couple of chucks to get it clipped up and into position, but I thought wasn't all that confident not seeing any fish if I'm honest I'm not massively confident now but now there's a bit of fizzing going on you know it might be something grabbing around there fingers crossed and uh, yeah at least we've got you know a lot of people would say yes I've got the whole lake but like I just said I actually prefer it when this ram down here not many people think to look at the island and you usually get a good head of carp sitting up there Anyway, I'm doing my best. So what I've done is just fished a Ronnie Rick with a bottom bait, controversial probably, um, and then sauce boilies. I was using pop-ups last time, but they were they were spooking. I think they were spooking, but it is shallow water. So here it's not that deep. I mean, it's probably three foot now, three and a half foot. I think they really need to look at dredging this lake, the fish, but. In some respect, does that push the fish around a bit more? They're not just... Maybe. Who knows? Well, time will tell. You know, let's look at it as a positive that I've got the lake to myself. If they're on the feed, you know, I've fed some sauce boilies soaked in chilli sauce and sauce liquid attractant, and I've just scattered a few of my hook bait. Got a couple of hours. Come on the carp. Okay, guys, I thought I'd just show you... The island part of the lake, the shallow part. Might even spur on a bite, you know, when you're doing something that usually helps, doesn't it? Let's just see if we can see any fish. We can see some fish. Obviously, I haven't baited up tremendously. We can just move on over. So, this is where I started off last time. Looked down there and there was a ghosty sitting just down there. And they were boshing just, where am I? Just here. And we're fishing over that swim there. Last time they were really boshing around the other side as well. Nothing. Can't see anything. Goslin, 
I'm probably going to get attacked. Wish the carp were as hungry as you. Let's hope they are. What's that on the edge of that reed? More oh, ass duck. Ah. So walk around this way. See if we can see any fizzing or anything before it gets dark. say last time just here there's tails coming out there was fizzing just a burst of activity god I deleted a lot of the footage like I say I only tend to see fish here when the main bowl is pressured so I hope I'm doing the right thing Let's go back to swim, hopefully get a bite. Okay, got a couple of patches of bubbles coming up now. They're really fizzy in here because it's just thick silt. <clears throat> so fingers crossed that's a good sign. Like I say, there is bream and skimmers in here, so they could potentially create that. I'm going to stay really positive and hope that there's a couple of carp down there with their heads down. It's half ten now guys, it's typically when I've had fish out of here, and give it another half an hour, fingers crossed. So just to give you a bit of background, I had my PB out of here, which was my PB for a very long time, about eight years ago. Let me pop a photo of that right now for you, just in case we blank. There you go, look, lovely fish it was, lovely common. And I look quite young there as well. Uh, but uh, we had, when I went filming, we had what sounded like line bite. Um, and it stopped. That was about 15 minutes ago, so I hope there's something grabbing around. But yeah, I thought I'd leave that on. It's not too light on the water, that phone light, so... Uh, yeah, I think I'll be alright leaving it on for a sec. But yeah, I thought I'd turn it on now, just in case we do get that typical half ten bite. Well guys... I just want to say thanks for stopping by. Plenty more sessions here coming up, little sessions. 
So keep your eye on the series that's upcoming for the rest of the year and beyond. And like I said before, if you want to see some carp, head on over to Linear. If you like your tench, I uh, had a great session at Chickborough earlier in the year. Uh, and like I said, bagged more sessions coming up. So I really appreciate you stopping by, guys. Sorry I couldn't show you a fish on this session. And uh, yeah, keep your eyes peeled for more coming up.